Hello everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Who's ready to go on a journey? <clears throat> and JK Lantern. Well, we have to do the Ferengi rules of acquisition, right? Well, I don't know how much profit we're getting out of this. A any good Ferengi would be appalled by Particio. And then they would probably shoot Tressa out of a cannon. Yeah. Well, considering it's Ferengi, they would probably claim her as property. True. <clears throat> I'm just making sure I've actually got that. I was pretty sure I did. I just wanted to make sure I had that side quest in my log. God, I did something hilarious after doing that side quest. Yep. But for now, because we've got the Chapter 2's complete, it's time to do the Scent of Commerce. The emblem drawn on that card. <clears throat> he can't be. I remember when he said that, I'm like, should I know what that is? Is that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? Ooh. He was mentioned in the first game. Wait, really? Yes. I remember that name in the first game. <clears throat> or something very close to it. Uh, come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. Masood, the merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Man, his team must be tired. Particio, you've walked most of those paths around here. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned of his travels. The Mercantile Manuscript. He knows what a kidney is? I'm, I'm assuming he's had kidney beans. To think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. I need to take a gander at that Mercantile Manuscript. Okay. It is locked. Who are you? Hi, Indiana Jones. Also, very guy's been smoking a bunch, I guess. Always hey, watching Wazowski. Merchant Masood, ain't you? Who wants to know? You with the IRS? No, it's Walter. Say my name. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Oh, Is that old like... Barracks voice actor? Hmm. I know old Barracks voice actor voices somebody in this game. I can't remember who. I could have sworn it was oh, like the bad guy from me. Kakari's Partition. last chapter, but I could be wrong. Service. I'm a merchant. Fuck off, kid. So? <laughs> what does Particio the merchant want with a retired old man like me? God, he really is Walter. I throw back I've cans of alcohol like their beer. Since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Kid, what's a chickadee? Is that some type of scout? <laughs> oh yeah, and when you scuffled with the royal family? <laughs> that story stuck in my old noggin. Never meet your heroes, I'm guessing, is the theme we're going to go with here. Probably. I asked you what you wanted with me. A merchant should know how to get to the point. Clearly not a Japanese right merchant. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. Like in every business course I've ever taken, they make a point of like, when you're dealing with Japanese businesses... Beat around the bush a lot? You are going to be beating around the bush a lot, because they're interested in not just like, oh, getting the contract out 
and done now. They want to know that you're someone you can they can build a relationship with for long term. So they spend a lot of time talking about like, oh, what did you do this weekend? Do you want to do karaoke? How how about them Red Sox, huh? And it's just a cultural thing. Oh. And it's fascinating, really. And that, like, I get the... I do understand the appeal of it. He's rude. <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. To be fair, would you be okay if some random stranger starts spouting at you and be like, I want to see your greatest treasure? I want to see your life's work. I have no obligation or reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. <sighs> but I invented the gramophone. Hey, now listen here. That's hurtful. No, he didn't. <laughs> Besides, even a nobody's got a nobody's pride. And if I made too that reminds me of a biblical I've thing. got some <laughs> merchant chops to my name. Oh, you do, do you? Then I'll give you a test. Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. This is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, fella. Good. As a merchant, there is one treasure I value above <laughs> all else. Bring it to me. Uh huh? If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. Hmm. Of course, if you think this test unfair, you could just give. Interesting. I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. I promise. It just I'll dawned on me that his head doesn't move right when he, like, poses. I'd very much like to see you try. The legendary Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. Maybe someone around town knows a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. Criminal get to work. <laughs> There's a very specific person in town you're going to be looking for. Yep. Yoink. Hey, what are you doing with my soul stone? Mine now. I can't remember if this character... Oh, that... Here we go. Uh-huh, okay. What's this? See, this is just my first guest. It's a reasonable guess. Based on what she said, he mainly... He says he taught her to treasure herself. As promised, I brought you your treasure, Masood. You did, did you? Show me. 
Your greatest treasure is her, your daughter. Incorrect. Try again. It's nice that he says what? try again. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is true that many value their family above any jewel or gem. But that is not the answer that I am seeking for this particular test. Better luck next time. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not sure who she's sighing at there. Him a little bit. I was sure I had it. <clears throat> what is this test that father gave you? Huh? Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> ah. What father meant wasn't his treasure in particular, but what a merchant treasures most. The thing you treasure most as a merchant isn't leaves or sundries, right? A merchant's treasure? I mean, for Barticio, that seems like it would be trust in general. Not exactly. That's all the hints you'll get from me. Good luck. See, she already actually likes Portishio. What do I treasure as a merchant? Like she said, not leaves or sundries, that's for sure. That's it. My greatest treasure is me. In which case, Masood must feel the same way, too. It's worth a shot, anyhow. Okay. So do we have a mirror? Mostly it's even more simpler than that. A cup of water? Even more simpler than that. No. See those options? What's this? Hmm. Yeah, he comes with a twenty percent off coupon. me what is the meaning of this insult mr. nobody I've figured out your treasure fella it's you yourself hmm. you asked me to find the treasure you value most as a merchant I figured Every merchant's got one treasure they set store by above all else. Connections they've built, book learning and experience. All these things are far more valuable than any material object, leaves included. Or am I wrong? He didn't have to sound so smug about it there, Particio. <laughs> Sure he did. Again, Porticio is my favorite character. <laughs> of course I did. My greatest treasure is the same as yours, after all. Besides, your daughter gave me a friendly push in the right direction. Hey. <laughs> if I couldn't find the answer after all that, I'd have no right to call myself a merchant. <laughs> I am honestly astonished that there are still merchants in this world who know how to see to the heart of matters. There's not a poke war going on over here. What are you talking about? I'm going to need a deception check for that. There 
Every I don't have my dice right here. <laughs> will come here seeking my mercantile manuscript. Every one of them failed this test and went home empty-handed. I started to think the world had gone dull since I retired. <laughs> here, <laughs> take it. We're stupid. <laughs> What's this? The key to the archive in which I placed my mercantile manuscript. Read to your heart's content. Oh, yes. You, you sure it's all right? I said it was okay. <laughs> Don't rub it in. <laughs> I've grown old. I don't have much time left. You're only what? 60. Yeah. Time. When I pass, so too will my greatest treasure, correct? I mean, I'm assuming your daughter will protect it. So might as well pass on a part of that treasure to you, Particio the merchant. There's some treasure of those who came before you. I mean, I guess it's better than Vagabond Peddler. Uh. You got it, fella. Thank you. Hmm. So, this is basically a massive lore dump. Some of it's just interesting lore. Some of it is, um... Some of it is actually hints. Octopuff, put, octopuff pots, I haven't seen those yet. I think we end up collecting some over the course of the game. Mm. What, what, what are you looking at? What do I have highlighted? <laughs> oh, thank God. I thought you were, gonna be, you were looking at the thing that was under it. I'm afraid to look at the thing that's under it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't recall the name Kai. If that's how you say that. Mm -hmm. These things I need to study on later. Mm -hmm. the, the Divine Weapons and Arms Masters will be very interesting to you. So yes, the grapes actually have lore. So does the name leaf. Huh. Yep. Must be British. <laughs> they dropped the H. The, yes, the grapes and plums have lore. Yep. Oh, they were black current. Go figure. I mean, black currant, and it, I found this to be true in the candy I tried recently. Tastes <laughs> a lot like grapes, just with an added something in there that I can't quite pin down.
and various histories of the lands. Huh. That didn't have anything, though. Neat. So, yeah, there are some hints. In fact, you may have seen a hint for something while you were looking in there. But there's also just a pile of lore that's a lot of yeah. fun. Which I would look at now, but that would take quite a bit of time. And it is time to uh, take a break. When we return, we have another Scent of Commerce to go after. So until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye, and...